From the WBBZ-TV studio in the Eastern Hills Mall, it's time to play... Bragging Where two teams come together in a battle of wits to determine who will leave with bragging rights. And now, here's your host, John DeShulo, with today's two teams. Hey, everybody, take a look. We've got our clown noses on. Well, I do, anyway. Take a look at our beautiful studio audience. They don't have their clown noses on. They're supporting the Ismailia Shrine Circus. Volunteers and friends, and we're happy to have these Western New Yorkers right here on our game stage again. We have them every year, and it's all for a good cause. And you know what? We're going to introduce our co-host for the game tonight. Would you welcome Kylie Robbins? Hello, Kylie. Hello. How are you? I'm good, and you? Can I talk to you with this red nose? For sure. All right. Thank you very much. So, Kylie, we met you on another edition of Bragging Rights, but for those who may, may have missed it, share your story. Okay, so my name is Kylie, and I'm a Shriner patient ambassador. Um, I had scoliosis with a 68 degree curve, and now I have 22 bolts and two rods in my spine so I can stand up straight. Wow, how about that? And <laughs> when were you uh, diagnosed with that, and how long did that process take? Um, so I was diagnosed when I was 18 with it, and I ended up getting the surgery when I was 19. But when I was with the Shriners, I started in June, and I had my surgery by September that year. So the Shriners really gave you your life back. Oh yes, for sure. <laughs> Great, and you are, what does the sash say? What are you, are um, so this says the St. Catharines District Shriners Club Patient Ambassador. So um, one of the Shriners in St. Catharines is who um, actually got me involved with all of the hospitals here and now I share my story to all of them. Yeah, but your treatment was in the United States. Yes, so I started in Erie and then I went to Philadelphia for my surgery. Good for you, well we're happy to, happy to have you here. The success story, Kylie Robbins. Kylie, step right over here as we get ready for the show. And we'll introduce to you on the uh, red side, the clowns are back. The clowns trying to claim a victory. The clowns are here with uh, all of the uh, red noses that I have as well. And they're playing against the Divan. These are the people who run the Shriners organization. All volunteer, all doing the great work that they do. We're gonna come over and introduce you to the team captain. Uh, so Mopsy, how do I look with my, oh, you have the red nose right on the microphone too. For sure. Everybody. Why, why everybody. a red nose, I guess, is the question. Why the red nose? Yeah, why not, maybe? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the answer. Why not? Yeah. And in your case, red hair. But I don't have any hair to, to judge, so I don't know. Uh, I don't have yeah, any Yeah, we don't have any red hair. So, Mopsy, how long have you been a clown? 19 years. Yeah. And you, now, do you do other shows besides the uh, Shriners? Um, s let's see. The, well, usually right around the, the Shrine Center, we, we try and help out. Yeah, it's great. What do the kids like about the clowns? What do they ask you to do? Sign their programs. Oh, okay. Take pictures. Yeah, a lot of selfies, I bet. Oh, yes. Uh, tons. That's Wouldn't good. have it any other way. Well, we, we love the fact that you're here, and uh, I've met Mopsy at the, the Erie County Fair. It looks nothing like he does here. But, no, uh, yeah. I was undercover then. <laughs> yeah, undercover. The plain clothes division. Yeah, well, Mopsy, who else is on the team with you? Got one quick thing. Oh, uh, one, one quick thing. I got to give in. a shout out to my special buddy, Anthony. Hi, Anthony. Hello, Anthony. He's in the audience, so good shout out to Anthony. Well, we'll find out Anthony later in the show, too. All right, who else is on the team with you, Mopsy? This is Shutterbug to my left. Shutterbug. And Patch to my white. Right. Patch over there. Good. All right, and we had a shout out to Anthony. All right, I'm going to come over and meet Doug the Potentate. So, Doug, we mentioned that, you know, you're kind of it, but uh, we, we always like to talk about that hat because some people that may not know, the Fez hat is what you're wearing. Yeah, the Fez is, uh, distinguishes us as Shriners. You'll see us driving little carts and parades or running around, but... Uh, You'll know that we're having fun and helping kids. We have 22 hospitals for burned and crippled children at no cost to them. So we're That's amazing. making kids kids again. No cost. I mean, we hear about all the health care crisis in the, in the world, and the Shriners are delivering health care at no cost. That is right. And yeah. I have another hospital driver right next to me, Dennis. He's one that drives the kids to the hospital. Yeah. Well, that's who else is on the team then? So you have Dennis and, and Christian. Dennis and Christian. Well, thanks for joining us, Dennis and Christian. And uh, we'll start the show. We... Uh, we're going to take a look now at Deanna and Milta, our guest scorekeepers from Liberty Cab. Hello, ladies. <laughs> so Deanna and Milta, we know that uh, you, well, certainly Milta, you're going to take your daughter to, to the circus. And uh, yeah. Deanna, you know, we, like, we, we talked about in the last show about driving through flaming hoops. You know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of acrobatics that the circus has. What do you like most about the circus? Um... Just the whole atmosphere about it. It's a really cool feeling. Yeah, it's a good feeling. And the Liberty ladies are going to, we're going to meet them in just a little bit. And we have the brand new Liberty Bell, which we'll find out about in a second. Kylie, you're going to be joining us as a co-host. 
And uh, by the way, we are going to start with the divan on the blue side. So that team's going to start 10 points in the first segment, 20 in the second, 30 in the third. We're playing for points. Guess what? You know what? If you have 50 points by getting your X's or your O's across, up and down or diagonally, what will you do? Ring the Liberty Bell. There we go. How about that? And of course, if you win the game, you become eligible for a large screen television from Dirt Cheap TV, our sponsor on Niagara Falls Bowl. All right, we're ready to go. Kylie, step right up. So the dive band are going to start. Where would you like your blue O to go, Doug? A4 was so lucky for us last time. We're going to try it again. Try it again. A4. What United States state, U.S. state, receives the least amount of sunshine? A, New York, B, Washington, or C, Alaska? Least amount of sunshine. What do you think? We're going to go C, Alaska. Hmm, ladies. Good job. That is right. Alaska it is. <laughs> Don't they have that, Kylie, where I think it's like nighttime for like several weeks on end? It's kind of crazy. I believe that, yeah. Yeah, a little crazy up there. All right, Mopsy, where would you like your, uh, Mopsy, what are you doing? The, the set is. Enough for the big screen TV. Oh, the, oh, I see. So you're going to see if you can, well, you know, and it's permanently tuned to WBBZ TV. All right. <laughs> it is color, like me. Where would you like your game piece to go? How about B1? B1. Question two What's the largest island in Europe? A, Denmark, B, Ireland, or C, Great Britain? Largest island. Don't give them the answers there, Divan. I know you all work together to help the kids. Trying Circus, March 13th through the 17th at the Fairgrounds Event Center. What do you think, Mopsy? Great Britain. C. That is right. Yeah. <laughs> 10 and 10. Oh, this is going to be a big game. That was the last question in round one. What is the score, Deanna and Milta? We have the red team with 10 and the blue team with 10. We have a tie. A tie. Oh, my gosh. And guess what? We're going to show you all the information on the screen about the big Shriner Circus. It's coming March 13th through the 17th at the Event Center, Hamburg Fairgrounds. You want tickets? Go to tickets.com. The Ismailia Shrine Center, by the way, you can rent out the hall. It's a beautiful place right next to the Y, 1600 Southwestern Boulevard. The number there is 716-674-8666. Popcorn, great fun. We'll be right back. Ringmaster Joe Malucci and the band queuing up the music. We talked about the food, the popcorn milt at the fair, at the uh, well, at the fairgrounds, at the Shrine Circus. And guess what? What? Corn dogs. Corn dogs. Sounds so good. Ooh, <laughs> and pizza. Pizza. Mm. We're in for that too. Ice cream. Yes. Chocolate Maybe or vanilla? Cotton candy, too. Cotton candy, yes, of course, at the Shrine Circus. And vanilla, by the way. Vanilla, all right. So this is all happening March 13th through the 17th at the Hamburg Events Center, which is on South Park. It's right on the Hamburg Fairgrounds. You can't miss it. And uh, we're all going to be going. And uh, they have face painting, too. Oh, wow. Yeah, maybe they could make my face look 20 years younger. <laughs> yeah, that would be a feat in and of itself. <laughs> so Dan is just saying, oh, I know. You just you need to look younger. So Deanna, tell us all about uh, Liberty Cab. We're, we're talk we talked about the Ride app in, in an earlier show. But to getting to the South Town is not a difficult feat for anybody. No, absolutely not. We go there every day. We have trips there all the time, so we can certainly get you there. Uh, you can set it up ahead of time or just call and someone will come. And we talk about the Shriners serving in a medical purpose. You also offer medical rides as well. We do. We have a lot of different medical accounts, so um, we can absolutely help in that area, getting people to and from um, doctors' offices and such. Yeah, Liberty Cab is where you want to go. LibertyCab.com, that's the website. And you can find your ride. You need to ride local with Liberty Cab, the proud sponsor of Bragging Rights and everything here on WBBZ TV. And speaking of us, we're all back on the game stage with the Divan right there on the blue side. And the Divan are playing against the clowns. And these are all volunteers. They're helping the Ismailia Shrine Circus. We're going to meet one of the uh, Divan. I'm going to come right over here, excuse me, Kylie. And you are? Christian. So what do you do for the uh, Shriners? I'm uh, the second ceremonial master. I pretty much put on our ceremony, which uh, initiates new members into the Shrine. So if anybody wants to become a member, how do they do that? They have to be a Freemason first. And to be a Freemason, you have to ask one. Gotcha. So it's kind of an uh, all-inclusive kind of uh, situation. 
Correct. Yeah. So if anybody had an interest in it, they could go to your Shriners office on Southwestern and find out. Yes, they could. And you can rent that building, I hear. Yes, you can. All right. Great. Kristen, you're going to be there, right? Should be. I hope so. I hope so. You know, what can I say? It's all good because, you know, when you got guys like Shutterbug here filling my brain with craziness, yeah. you can't know, forget me, can't, you? I'm not, I can't forget you is right. So hold up that poster, Shutterbug. Right. There it is. 73rd. Uh, 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 unbelievable. I'm sure you've been to every one of them. <laughs> no, I missed a couple of them yeah. in the beginning, yeah. maybe the first 60 years. <laughs> well, you know, Shutterbug, we talked about some of the kids and what they like, but uh, what does it mean to you as a, as a, as a person? Well, helping the kids is the, is the first thing and the foremost, but the uh, circus is, for us is fun. A lot of fun. Clown, oh, yeah. I mean, we have free run of the place. And do they have balloons? I, do we have balloons? This year? Not at the clown. Not, not at the clown. They have regular balloons, but not anything we're going to do. Yeah. It's, yeah, but it's pretty physical. You guys get into the act. Right, right. We do a couple skits. Uh, we have fun with it. And like I said, we um, have run of the circus, and the kids love us. Yeah. You know, well, we so love you, too, good. and we, we're happy to have you here. All right, so Shutterbug is here, and Kylie Robbins is our co-host. She's back for uh, round two, and Kylie is a success story. We have over at the scoreboard Deanna and Milta. Deanna and Milta, what's the score as we get into this round? We have the red team with 10 and the blue team with 10. We have a tie. Tied, and each question, Kylie's worth 20 points in this round. How about that? All right, so, Divan, you are next. Doug, where would you like your game piece to go? D1, please. D1. Question three, how many matches are there in a standard book of matches? A, 20, B, 30, or C, 50? Hmm, good question. We're gonna 20, go with 20. 20, A. That is correct. There you go, yeah. I would have said 30. And you know what? It's okay. You just if you light a fire, not for anything else. All right, clowns, you're next. Mopsy, where would you like your game piece to go? How about A1? A1 it is. Which of these cities is the farthest north? A, Milwaukee. B, Minneapolis. Minneapolis. <laughs> and C, Toronto. Farthest north. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Minneapolis, Minnesota. Toronto, Ontario. If you have a really good antenna, you can watch us in Toronto. Really good. Toronto. C. It's actually Minneapolis. B. Yeah, it's a good place. I've been there once, Minneapolis, St. Paul. All right, Kylie, we're ready to continue with our game. And Divan, Doug, where would you like your game piece to go? Let's go B3. B3. All for one and one for all. Whose motto is that? A, the Rat Pack. B, Three Musketeers, or C, The Buffalo Bills? Mm. I think The Buffalo that Bills. That is B. The Three Musketeers. And that is correct. Yes, The Buffalo Bills, they need a lot of help, but their time is coming, I know it, I know it. All right, we're up to question six now. The Clowns, you're next, Mopsy. Take a look. C, two. Good choice, that will give you a block if you get this correct. What is the name for the point on the Earth's surface directly above an earthquake's focus? A, the fault line. B, the Richter scale. R Richter scale. And C, epicenter. epicenter. Earth's surface, the point on the Earth's surface directly above an earthquake's focus. A, fault line. B, Richter scale. C, epicenter. For C. The block. C. That is correct. Wow, good choice. <laughs> fault line could have been a good one there. Good thing we don't have those here. All right, we are moving along, Divan Doug. Let's try um, uh, A3. A3, yeah, because uh, the clown's got a block there for you. Who does Alice follow down the hole in Alice in Wonderland? A, the White Rabbit. B, the March Hare. Or C, the Mad Hatter. Talking about the circus, this is in the in the wheelhouse. Alice in Wonderland. White Rabbit. A. That is also right. Yeah, 20 points. We're up to question number eight, and the clowns, you are up. The last question in round two. C3. C3, Mopsy says. How many sides does a hexagon have? A, five, B, six, or C, seven. Five, six, or seven, that hexagon. Six. B. Good guess. Six. Yeah. Congratulations. 
All right, we got a right answer there. Let's take a look at the score. Deanna and Milton, what is it as we end round two? We have the red team with 50 and the blue team with 70. 50 to 70, and you know what? It's anybody's game, 30 points. That's what each question is worth when we come right back. Bragging Rights on WBBZ-TV, your hometown television station, will continue after this from our sponsors. Welcome back to Bragging Rights. Mopsy gave a shout out to a member of our studio audience, and he's right here. Anthony, how are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I understand in addition to liking the Shriners, you're a big fan of Beat the Champ. Yes, I have. I made 61 total matches on there, and it's always fun to be on the crowd. <laughs> yeah, it is fun to watch Paul Peck and Suna Voisky and Janelle Sabin, and thanks for being here tonight. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. All right, so Anthony, give a shout out to our friend. Thanks for being here. You can get back to the audience. There he is. Anthony gets a wave, gets the close up. We're back here with our uh, teams on the, on the blue side. The Divan are here from the Shriners. These are the guys that run the whole ship over there, and they're playing against the Clowns. Woo. My co-host here is Kylie Robbins, a success story here from the Shriners. And Kylie, we're going to get to some questions in just a little bit, but I'm going to meet some other members of these teams, OK? All right, I'm going to come over and meet another member. And you are Dennis. Hello, Dennis. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. So I understand you drive the patients as well. I do. I uh, drive majority of them down to Erie, Pennsylvania uh, Shrine Hospital there. What's that hospital like? It's, it's a very nice hospital. It's, uh, it's, it's an outpatient clinic now it was a, a overnight hospital but they down had a downsize a little bit so uh, they but they do surgery there and uh, if they do have overnight patients they have a, a, a contract with the Hammond Hospital in Erie Pennsylvania and it's not that far away no yeah. it's 90 miles I've got to watch some of that weather a little bit in the southern tier but but you I know Dennis we're counting on you <laughs> yeah I'll be there okay thanks very much all right we're counting on Dennis and we're gonna come over and meet another yeah give him a round of applause we we'll meet another clown. Patch, how are you? I'm doing good. Thanks. Good. So, uh, Patch, tell us about this tie. This is good. This is uh, very patriotic. I like it. Yeah, I love this tie. Yeah, that's good. You know, and uh, when you're out there doing the show, it's very patriotic, a real theme of spirit of America when you're, with, you're there with the kids. And, uh, Colorful and yeah. What do you do for a living, Patch? Um, I work for my local sheriff's office. You do? I do. Yeah, so uh, you don't look like that when you're uh, working the sheriff's round. Too. No, no. <laughs> Once in a while, but no. Yeah, you take the nose off. That's good. Off, well, well, thanks for what you're doing with the sheriffs and for the Shriners as a clown. All right, we have uh, Deanna and Milta at the uh, guest scoreboard from the Liberty Ladies are here. What is the score as we get into round three? We have the red team with 50 and the blue team with 70. 50 to 70. That means it's anybody's game, right, Kylie? For sure. For sure. 30, uh, 30 points. That's what it is. All right, we're going to start now with uh, the divan. Where would you like your game piece to go, Doug? A1, please. Like the steak sauce. Babe Ruth hit how many home runs in his career? A, 675. B, 694. C, 714. Five minutes left in the game. Promoting the Shrine Circus. Coming March, 7, March 13th through the 17th. Hmm. <laughs> Doug, given the, the secret baseball switch there. B, please. It was C. Yeah, didn't get that. The divan didn't pick up 30 points. They tried, though. Were you ever a baseball player, Doug? I was. I played Little League. Yeah, okay. I, on the other hand, could barely throw the balls. <laughs> no surprise to anyone. Mopsy, where would you like your game piece to go? How about... Hmm. C1. C1. What is the second largest continent? A, Asia. B, Africa, or C, North America? Second largest continent, Asia, Africa, or North America. These clowns are smart. They're not just rolling around with pies and fun stuff. Africa. B. Good job, that is correct. Yeah, we got some points up. Africa, Asia's larger number, America is number three. So we got some points up for the clowns. Four minutes left in the game, Divan. Doug. C4. C4 for the block. Good choice. Milta's showing us that. What singing group was once known as the Four Lovers? A, the Four Seasons, B, the Four Tops, or C, the Beatles? 
The Four Lovers. Is it the Four Seasons, the Four Tops, or the Beatles? This is an interesting question. Four Seasons. That hey. is correct. Yeah, it is with yeah. Frankie Valli. Yeah. Sings real high. I'm not going to sing, but have you ever heard of Frankie Valli? No, I have not. No, you know, Google him up. Yeah, <laughs> sings real high. Mopsy, I know. Mopsy, you know Frankie Valli. He would have been at the circus, but you forgot to invite him. Yeah. Uh, well, it was yeah. my oversight. Yeah. <laughs> Where would you like your game piece to go? They, to, they, got, they got the block there. A2. A2. In what state is Carlsbad Caverns National Park? A, Arizona. B, Colorado. Or C, New Mexico. Carlsbad. Caverns, Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico. New Mexico. C. That is correct. Yeah, we got some points up for the clowns. We're coming up to question 13. Big game here, the dive band and the clowns. Always a big rivalry. Where would you like your game piece, Doug? Let's go B4. B4 on the bottom. Michael Jordan is known for playing for the Chicago Bulls. What team did he play his last two seasons of basketball for? A, Utah Jazz, B, Cleveland Cavaliers, or C, Washington Wizards? Michael Jordan. Utah, Cleveland, or Washington for his last two seasons. Yep, we tried the baseball. That worked so well the last time. No, we're going A. Utah. Should have gone C. <laughs> yeah, he played for the Washington Wizards, which, yeah, we, we didn't know either. All right, the last question in the game as we promote the Shrine Circus is coming to the Shrine Clowns. Mopsy? A1. A1. What was the first lifesaver flavor? A, wild cherry, B, peppermint, or C, orange. Hmm. You don't like you don't like the lifesavers? No. Mm. My favorite would be lemon. <laughs> oh, okay. Wild cherry, peppermint, or orange? Guys? Wild cherry. A. Peppermint. Peppermint was the first. I would have said cherry too. Didn't get points up for the clowns. This was a good game. We're promoting the Shrine Circus. Before we get to the final score, we got to read that information real quick. It's March 13th through the 17th. It's at the Hamburg Event Center right at the fairgrounds. Tickets are on sale. Tickets.com. Call the phone number 674-8666 for more information. And now the moment we've all been waiting for, Kylie. Guess what? Oh, what? Who won the game, Deanna and Milta? We have the red team with 110 and the blue team with 100. The red team's the winner. My gosh, the clouds, you pull it off. The clouds are the winners. That's right. Here they are the champions. And you know, Mopsy, we, we have to celebrate. Mopsy, come on out because we have to celebrate. And thank you all for, for coming on. Come on in, Mopsy. You know, and uh, every year, Mopsy, we, we always are so proud to have you here. So congratulations. You uh, Thank you very much. It's well deserved once again, but. But. Oh. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, thank you so much. Wouldn't be the Shriner Circus Show without Mopsy and a little pie in the face. Eh? And, and you know what? We're not going to send you home empty handed. We have Salvatore's Pizza Salsa and Pizza Sauce for everybody here at the Shriners. So uh, thank you to our sponsors. Hey, Deanna and Milta, at least you didn't get a pie in the face over there. That thank is you very, very much. true. Yeah, very true. <laughs> The Liberty Ladies do a great job. Thank you. Thanks to all of our Shriners, and uh, we'll see you on the next edition of Bragging Rights. Goodbye, everybody.